Hello everyone, I'm Marvinita, library assistant here at the Seeking Public Library, here today with another origami online tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make modular wall art out of origami, so let's switch over and I'll show you what we're going to start making. So here, as you can see, we've got this kind of abstract origami piece of art. And right now I've got it kind of balled up so it looks more like a sculpture. You can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, but I have also seen where people have made massive pieces of modular wall art and just put it all across walls of bakeries and shops and it looks really, really cool. This one's made in all different colors, but you could also uh, make it all in one color or simplify it and make parts of it, one uh, larger parts of it a single color. Um, but if you look at this closely, you'll notice that it's made out of small peaks all across. And when you take each piece out, each of those peaks actually breaks up into individual little pieces of origami. And this is what we're going to be learning how to make today. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll show you how to make it. So you start out with a 10 centimeter square of origami paper. You know, you can use any kind of origami paper, whether it's patterned or cardstock. This is just kind of a colored copy paper. And how you're going to do it is you're going to fold it in half and crease it down the middle. And then you're going to take one end of that and make it match up with that middle crease that you've just made. And then you'll take the top half and meet it down in the middle as well. Okay, now since you're going to be making a lot of these and they all need to fit together, you need to make sure that whenever you're folding these, you fold them all exactly the same. So with this one, I'm going to start by folding on the left side corner and folding that left side corner up and then the right side corner down. So if you're making a bunch of these, you don't want to start with the next piece using the right side or the left side corner down and the right side corner up. You always want to make sure it's the exact same. So for all of my pieces that I've made so far and for any one that I'm going to make after this, they're all going to start with the left side up, right side down. And you end up with this kind of a diamond shape. And when you open those folds back up, you're going to notice two little corner flaps on either side are sticking straight up. So what you want to do is you want to tuck each of those corner flaps under. So right now it's pointing up and I'm just going to tuck it back. So now it is lying under that edge. Same with this one, it's sticking up. So I'm going to tuck it under all along that crease that it's made. Okay, so now we have both of those corners gone. Now next you're going to see that these two sides want to fold up. So we are going to do that, but we want to fold it behind this long flap. So I'm going to pick that up, lay that corner down, and lay that flap back down again. And now we want to do the exact same with this side. The only thing is that now that this corner is down, this flap can't come up all the way. So you're just going to hold it up with your fingers and roll this corner up and under it. And it'll just kind of slide into place there along that crease. And now your diamond is kind of sealed into place with that crisscross on this side. So now you want to flip it over to where there's a flat side, no crisscross on it. And you'll notice that there's two shorter slanted sides and two long flat edges. So we want to take the long flat edge and take this corner and make it meet that corner. And when you do this, what it's going to do is it's going to make a little triangle shape. And you're going to do the same with the opposite side taking that corner and making it match the one next to it. And it makes another triangle. And so in the middle of those triangles, you're going to want to fold that back. And you're going to want to pinch that tight, increase it well. When you let go, it makes that little modular origami shape that we have, that we've made several of over here. And so when you've got a couple of these, or uh, several of them, what you can do is you can uh, interlock them to make larger pieces of modular art. Now remember how I said that there was a side that had a crisscross and a side that was smooth? So now what we want to do is we want to take the side that has that crisscross and it actually has little pockets at each of those crisscrosses and they can be used to, uh, to interweave other pieces of modular art. So we can take this corner flap and stick it into one of those pockets. And that makes part of our uh, part of our modular art, and you just keep linking pieces together until you have your first peak. And it'll take a little bit of rearranging and kind of smooshing together and pushing the sides together until it sticks. 
but once it does that is your first peak and you just want to make lots of these in a bunch of different colors and stick them all together until you have your modular wall art and again you can make this as something that's flat as a hanging decoration or you can ball it up or make a, an abstract sculpture with it so it's really handy um, and again these are small pieces but you can also make them much bigger or even smaller if you want a smaller texture to it so it's really a really versatile kind of pattern so i hope that you've enjoyed this today uh, definitely check out our youtube channel online uh, our origami playlist we have videos on everything from how to make your first origami square to how to make all different kinds of projects like this one and be sure to check out our website at library.seguintexas.gov to find all kinds of other events and programs that are going on in our library bye, -bye.